Okay, I am reading some comments under um, Veritasium's video, uh, Why No One Has Measured the Speed of Light. And uh, I read Dale Darling's comment from three hours ago, and he suggests that if uh, the one-way speed of light was different in different directions, we would see different ages of stars in different directions. And uh, Proto Morris said it is almost impossible to explain without a lot of math, but we will see the same picture even if the speed of light is asymmetric. Speed also affects the flow of time. Okay, I just wanted to see if I could explain uh, this without a lot of math from uh, some simple exam from some simple descriptions via a space-time diagram. And I'm going to use the example that he gave in the video where a light comes over here at 10 minutes. It is returned. The signal is returned and received at 20 minutes. And the idea here was that the uh, velocity of the light is the same going in both directions. However, then he said, what if the light went twice the speed, but he thought it was 10 minutes, but it was actually 20 minutes. And then it went back and this guy thought that it was 20 minutes or 10 minutes on the way back, but, but it was actually only zero minutes. Okay, so that's 20 minutes, the measurement on his clock there. What actually has happened here? Well, what we have seen is a skew operation on the space-time diagram. What we have seen is we are taking this part of the diagram and lowering it and leaving this one the same or uh, taking this part of the diagram and raising it and leaving this part the same. We're just doing a skew along that, we're just doing a skew along that axis. So it is clear that if you do that same skew everywhere in the universe, it's going to have this, that same effect and no measurements are changed because all of the events um, keep the same readings and are all exactly the same as they uh, would have been if the speed of light had been constant. Now let's, while we're here, compare that to a Galilean operation, which essentially does the same thing, except it's in the horizontal direction. If I am standing right here, um, later in time, uh, like at t equals zero, then later in time I will be up here and say t equals 10. But if I accelerate to the to the right, I will be over here at t equals 10. However, to me, I'm going to be running straight forward and it will look like, to, you, to me, it will look like you're over there and I'm still in the same place. So that would be a Galilean skew where this axis moves to the left. but the time axis stays the same, t equals 10 and t equals zero. Now, finally, we've got the uh, Lorentz skew, which does a sort of thing where this, these sides come in and these sides go out. And uh, what happens to, what happens to things? Um, it, they follow these hyperbolic arcs like this and like, wait, did I say these sides go in and these sides go out and then draw that arrow going the wrong way? Yes, I did. Okay, these sides go out, so that goes that way. This comes down this way and this comes up this way. And guess what? We've got a little of both. Um, we've got the uh, skew that time comes up this way and time goes down that way. And we've also got the uh, position going that way and that way. And we've got a little of both of these things going on. Um, so 
but the thing that this one has that the other things don't have is that the speed of light stays constant in this one no matter what is done between the events the uh, things move along that line so that the speed of light stays constant 